Today's subject is... My generation. My generation. My generation. My generation. This has been called the instant gratification generation. The disposable generation. With social media creating and validating a throwaway culture, this generation want to be unique and spend more money on clothes than anything else. They've all got iPhones, everyone's got a computer, you know, everyone's on them all the time, and that's 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 brilliant, you know, that's that's what I'm into as well. But you know, these guys and girls will feel under pressure where they have to prove to their friends that they that they are wearing the latest, you know, trainers or whatever jackets. My friend, her Instagram, she's like, if I've worn this jumper, I can't post another picture in it. And I was like, yeah, but it doesn't I don't I don't really feel like it matters that much. I actually I don't know. Maybe I, I probably wouldn't post in the same outfit. But there is more to the story. I think the older generation most definitely sees um, our generation as a throwaway generation. You know, you look at the way technology goes, kind of a phone you had a few years ago is probably obsolete now. You know, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. I think we're constantly progressing and updating everything, you know, about our life, which can only be a good thing. This is also a generation that prides itself on its values and its ethics. Products which are against animal testing, I think they are the best things ever. I, we really shouldn't test on animals. Palace, with most of the um, clothing being produced in England, that shows that they care about the environment. I like it when a brand um, shares my values, especially um, when it comes to sort of the environment, healthy eating, sustainability, um, and you know, not. Um, anti-animal cruelty, that sort of thing. So how are they managing this push-pull between disposable fashion and ethical dilemmas? You know, it doesn't feel good going into Primark thinking about the sweatshops. Um, it's like it's not a nice feeling for me to go in and buy some t-shirts from there and knowing like, you know, the unethical sort of side of it. However, especially in this economy, you know, you're not paid enough to go out to the ethical shops and spend, you can't, I can't warrant like £30 on a t-shirt. So if people want disposable fashion but they want to be ethical, I think that's an impossible balance to have. It's really important that people understand that we're not idiots and although there is instant gratification everywhere, that's not what we're necessarily about. Obviously, you know, you're tempted by the phone in the window, but at the end of the day, you're looking for future happiness and that's not all in a pair of shoes. And because of the mistakes of the generation before them, they have to save more than any before them. The young people in today's day and age now have a lot more pressure to save money because of the credit crunch, just purely because we know that, you know, no, no job is totally safe and the, the cost of living is so high that we must always have an alternative. My biggest fear for the future is probably financial. So you come out of college, you go to uni, you come out, there's not necessarily a job there waiting for you. Everything's more expensive for us and we're in more debt than previous generations. So you do feel that pressure. You definitely feel that pressure. So, while this generation are thinking about the now, they are also thinking about the future. Nine out of ten of them have savings and nearly half of them are saving for the future. So yeah, saving is a massive culture, massive, massive culture, purely because of the fact of how life is at the moment. So how are they managing to save in a culture that is so focused on consuming? Through creativity and innovation. Enter the rise of the sharing culture. Saving and being disposable at the same time has become something that our generation is very good at. With the development of digital technology, we've now been able to you know, create new ways for people to make a living out of their clothes they own, their houses, their cars. So if you want to travel and you want accommodation, you've got Airbnb. If you want to rent a workspace, you've got Roomy where you can just rent dead space for the day. Uber have started doing carpools, so on a Saturday night you can share a car with three or four other people. If you want a dog for the day, you've got to borrow my doggy. I think people are becoming more creative and resourceful. Um, you know, in the way that they're managing their money, spending their money, generating money. There's a lot of people out there today doing really cool stuff and being really creative and showing what can be done out of nothing essentially.